Okay, so today we have a new task. We need to make an um, insect ant spinner or insect spinner machine. So this is how it looks. These are the dimensions that we need to follow. Um, this was made from Lego bricks. It was manually done, but while taking pictures, vibrations and small movements of the brick were not uh, the best option for taking a picture. Uh, for focus and so on. So um, I was tasked with making a new machine, new design. On YouTube there was an spinner machine already, but there was no available files for download. No STLs uh, nor any other uh, files for CNC cutting and so on. Um, while I was trying to copy that design, the video was taken down. After 11 years of being on YouTube, it was <laughs> taken down exactly on the moment when I was tasked with making a machine similar to that one. Now, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to use the easily accessible uh, PC or Arduino and motors, small motors um, that can be bought for uh, $20 a set of five with drivers. And I'm going to use Arduino uh, Nano and Arduino Nano uh, CNC shield. I think it was version 4. Uh, now I'm. Uh, this machine will have three axes, and I'm making uh, mounting points for NEMA motors. Now I am going to use three uh, three points on which rotating table will slide. In this case I made four of them, but later on I decided to redesign it and uh, make it composed of uh, three instead of four for easily mounting uh, this thing. Now software that I'm using is FreeCAD. It is open source software and um, for me, it is relatively easy to use it. It is showing up some errors, but uh, it will be fixed later on. It is not a big problem. Now I know how to use Fusion, SolidWorks and others, but I choose to use FreeCAD and mainly focus on FreeCAD because licensing is free and things that I am doing do not require old database that was done in the 90s, for example designing airplanes, ships, cranes and so on. So for 3D printing and making these new open source machines, FreeCAD is best option for me because everyone can open it without concern for licensing. Open the FreeCAD files in order to edit them. Now of course we can convert, convert this to a style and then open it in SolidWorks and then do some changes but uh, Designing in uh, raw file format is sometimes better option than converting to STL. Um, now I'm going to let you watch rest of the FreeCAD design. It took me five or six hours to completely design this machine from uh, beginning to end. And uh, it took me three test fitting variations in order to make it uh, Precisely how I wanted it to be. Okay, so see you in I don't know maybe 10 minutes
only thing that is left now uh, now are covers for these arms and uh, we are going to print these parts now now i'm using in this case bumble up carbon ka yadan and yeah this is printed with us so it has some problems i like printing it in pet g because it is better surface quality and uh, robustness Okay, so I am finalizing the assembly of this machine and now we will be, I will be adjusting in a couple of seconds a potentiometer for current that is going to be used by stepper motors. Some axes need a little bit more current to, than other, so I am going to finally adjust them in order to avoid uh, destroying motor and uh, drivers. I think I did a speed up of the process, so we'll see. Okay, so now everything works fine. I'm just testing the, uh, if uh, all axes are moving. And now I'm adjusting the output, current output for the these uh, stepper motors. And once I did this, I put some force and load on the stepper motors uh, on operation conditions and we can see that now everything works fine. Later on decided to make this machine portable and I uh, redesigned a spinning rotating plate. And this is how it looks now. It is portable, it's easy to store and it fits in the required dimensions. So this will be open source online on Thinkverse and feel free to build this machine and edit it. <laughs> 